autism spectrum disorder, commonly known as just autism, is a neurological and developmental disorder. It affects how people interact with others, communicate, learn, and also behave. According to the WHO, about 1 in 100 children have autism worldwide. Technology, however, is providing hope for parents. A scientist suggests that baby dancing could help doctors spot early signs of autism. Scientists at the UK University of Sussex have found that diagnosing neurodivergent conditions like autism could be done earlier by studying how babies move. They are using motion detectors and AI to analyze babies' movements. Named Baby Grow, the study compares actions like wiggling, sitting, and crawling with babies' social and communication skills over their first 18 months. The study aims to analyze baby movements from video footage and motion and sensors embedded in an intelligent onesie, which participating babies wear. Understanding that recognizing the early signs of autism not only provides the child with the treatment they need, but it also helps families determine their best next step. The objective of this project is to understand how babies move, um, understand patterns of how babies move uh, when they're very young and how this could be a potential marker for neurodiverse conditions like autism. And so what we're doing here is using techniques from computer vision, which is uh, uh, an application of machine learning to images and video data in order to ascertain the position of their limbs over time and look at the patterns of how they're moving around. Scientists are hoping to enroll over 100 infants for the project, allowing them to collect movement samples every week. Scientists believe monitoring babies during the crucial development phase can indicate their future life. This kind of research is the way forward for us to determine children who might be at risk of autism earlier than we currently do. And I think it's our best hope of also starting to think about the development of motor interventions um, earlier so that we're not waiting until these children actually develop social and communication deficits before we start treating them. The gathering data aims to improve understanding of early signs of neurodivergence. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.